everybody get a roll call, please? Holly Marone is signing. Here. Ms. Brown. Here. Mr. Jones. I saw him. Ms. Stevens. Stevens is absent at the moment. Mr. Brady. Here. There's a quorum. Also like the record to reflect that Councilman Miller is in attendance. Okay. Any public comment? Madam Clerk, that's been submitted? No, no, Madam Chair. Thank you. And we have minutes from March 4th. I'll make a motion to approve those minutes. Second from Brown. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. And thank you, colleague Brown. So we have one piece of legislation referred to committee. Um, Madam Clerk, do you mind reading that for the record? Ordinance number 2020-0011, amending sections 1304.03 and 1304.04 of the county code to provide for a grace period wherein chapter 1304 shall not be enforced until 1-1-2021. Thank you so much, Madam Clerk. So the, the legislation simply gives the grace period an extension to January 1, 2021. Um, and the reason for that is twofold. One, our Department of Consumer Affairs, the Enforcement Department, I think Cheryl um, is on the phone, is unable at this point to guarantee she'll be able to have the staffing to, to enforce it because of the pandemic. There's been a, they're, they're behind in getting into businesses to do their uh, statutory job with the state. So there's going to be a problem with getting the, the enforcement down on our side, but there's been some, you know, the grocers had a concern about just, um, the grocery stores being able to move quickly with people, you know, establishing their six foot distances and needed additional time just to make sure that their flow would work with, with the um, legislation getting into place. So as a courtesy and to alleviate any concerns, we're gonna go ahead and hopefully extend this till January 1. Any questions? Sounds like a good plan to me. Thank you, Council President. I, um, I echo our council president's uh, sentiment and um, respect your uh, wisdom and forethought in having um, moved this legislation in the grace period. So thank you, Councilwoman Simon. Thank you um, so Madam, much. Madam Clerk, I'm not sure I was recognized, but I am participating. Can, can you see me and hear me? I can, I can see you if you can hear me. I can hear you as well. Great. Um, my apologies. I have you down for the record. Oh, no problem. And um, Chair, I am thankful that uh, we are going to um, relieve the penalty. I think that's the right thing to do for, for now. I just, the only concern that I have is I just want to make sure that the committee understands that as the legislation reads right now, the um, under the 1304.02, as of January 1st, 2020, no disposable plastic bags or non-permitted paper bags shall be used within the county by any retail establishment. Retail establishments shall offer a reusable bag or a permitted paper bag to a customer at the point of sale for the purpose of transporting goods. And it goes on to say no retail establishment shall refuse to allow customers to bring in to bring them to their own or use their own reusable. I just, I just want to make sure that we all realize that just because we're lifting the, um, the penalty doesn't mean that we're not, that our, our legislation as it stands still says to our retailers that they are uh, not abiding by the law that we put in place and that they have posted signs do not bring in our clerks are not allowed to touch them they're not allowed to take any groceries out of them they're not allowed to bag them and i wondered if there was any thought on committee that we are in direct conflict with what's going on out there with our retailers that is that is just my question to the to the chair thank you so much no i don't think that's the case and you don't think it's the case that they're posting signs outside their stores saying, please do not bring in a uh, reusable bag? Yeah, there's a grace period. That's what we're doing. The grace period is for the penalty only. 
not for discouraging reusable bags. Okay. Well, I don't think there's a conflict or a problem. Okay. Thank you so you're much. Welcome. You're welcome. And thank you for allowing me to, to ask. Sure. Just okay. kind of Madam Chair. Council, uh, Madam Chair, Chantel here. Yes, Council Brown. So the grace, Brown. Period, the grace period would negate anything um, penalty related. Is that safe to say? <laughs> Yeah, and enforcement. So enforcement means that no one's going out to issue a warning or to tell people, you know, tell retailers what to do. And it, it's beyond a penalty as, as um, Councilwoman Baker referenced, it's beyond a penalty. We're not enforcing it. There's a period, that's what that means. Okay, I just wanted to be clear if I was yeah. understanding that correctly. So yeah, okay, all right. Thank you very much, Chairwoman. Yeah, you're correct. You're totally correct. Okay, any other questions of the committee? Uh, yes, Madam Chair, this is uh, Councilman Schron. Oh, thanks for joining us, Councilman yeah, Schron. sure. Really uh, appreciate it. My question uh, deals with the fact that this probably this whole concept started out in California. Uh, in San Francisco was one of the first places to, to adopt this. And they have since recognized that this is not necessarily a health uh, issue. And they intend to continue this way beyond the January 1st date we're talking about here. Uh, to consider, and even when you look at places like Chicago, that's considering um, some of these holdbacks until such time as we even have a, a virus adopted, we could be looking at 18 months. And to, to say this is only a six month extension seems to me that uh, uh, it is not in uh, agreement with what uh, we're seeing in other areas. And why would we even want to expose our county to potentially a virus that uh, the vaccine hasn't even been developed yet and is looking to be at least 18 months. And it seems to me we're, we're telling the people that we know better medically uh, than what uh, the rest of the country is actually coming out with in statements of this nature. And so I think our council should not be uh, adopting medical advice without uh, getting medical input. Thank you so much, Councilman Sharon. Well, actually the whole country of Ireland was the first to go forward with banning plastic bags and it's all throughout the world. And it's interesting that you single out San Francisco of one city that has put a grace period on and so have many others. So we're gonna go forward with a six month grace period. Um, secondly, we're not dispensing medical advice, but I can say I have talked to um, Dr. Amy Ray at Metro, who reiterates that a single, a reusable bag is the risk to anybody is so infinitesimally small that it can't even be detected. So if we're gonna look at risks, uh, Councilman Tron, how about imposing some police at, re at grocery stores to make sure that people don't touch produce and then six other people picking it up later and plastic, everything's wrapped in plastic at grocery stores and people touch those. So you know what, to single out a reusable bag is really kind of absurd and silly. Um, so it's if we're gonna start going down that path, are you, we should look at closing down bookstores because people touch books and people touch books right after them. Nobody touches their own, re else will touch a reusable bag other than the person bringing it in. So when we're gonna assess risk and decide we're not gonna, protect the environment and protect the risks and threats to our residents that far outweigh any kind of tiny little conceptual risk a reusable bag would bring is really, really kind of ridiculous. Well, you keep calling it ridiculous and petty. And I think I'm quite offended at the fact that the other cities uh, don't consider it petty and ridiculous, nor do the city of California or the San Francisco in the entire the city of state California of California has a great yeah. Councilman all there's a grace period. Have you read the stuff I sent you Are in you? San Francisco. So when do you, you know, listen, different cities have grace periods. That's what we're doing a grace period. And if we're not wearing masks in stores, that's, the, that's how you transmit this is people to people. The CDC, you can go to their website. You can also you go to the wipe off doorknobs, right? You the wipe doorknobs, you wipe counters, and you, you know what? You know, this is the plastic industry's opportunity to exploit a crisis so they can continue to pollute and destroy the environment and the health of our residents. So to take the time to start to dispel, you know, the reality and just 
disproportionately try to create an issue is, is actually really reprehensible. I'm just reading what you're what have coming out of the cities in California where really the movement started in the United States. It didn't start there. Actually, it started in Montgomery County, Councilman Tron, and there's grace periods there. Those what there's all kinds of grace periods. And that's what we're doing. A grace period, six months. I know if you had it your way, you'd want this to be totally obliterated because you enjoy plastic bags and, and that's what but we're not doing that. You we can don't go see look I it enjoy up. Plastic bags. Right? Apparently. We probably apparently need that's to be what this is. Do we, need, do we need to be a, pushing a grace parade on the gloves that I see everywhere? I see more gloves on the ground nowadays than I do plastic bags anywhere. And I'm sure you have I've seen that too. The plastic gloves I are being- counted. So what? So there's, we don't, we're not gonna address one problem because there's 10 others. Why don't you introduce legislation that addresses the, the problem with that that's been revealed? I think- We've because... already done this. We've already debated. There's a six month grace period that's on the table. Do I have a motion to approve this legislation? Move. Do I have a second? Second. Any other discussion? If I may, uh, Chair, I just want to make sure that we are clear here that this grace period is only for the penalty. It is not to discourage people from bringing in their disposable bag. And that's clearly written because this legislation only talks about the penalty. The penalty Enforcement. is 4.03, and I'm talking about 13.04-1304.02. And 13.04, disposable bag imposed has nothing to do with the penalty. And that stays in place. So we just need to be clear that we are in direct conflict with our mm. grocery stores and our other retailers that are posting and telling people and their clerks, do not touch these bags. We are in conflict with them. And I and that's all I want no, to do. No, we're not. Sure the Councilman, Councilwoman Baker, there's no conflict. We're not enforcing the legislation. If grocery stores want to refuse somebody the ability to bring in their reusable bag, they will not be penalized. Do you understand that? But I understand, but they are still going against the legislation that's written. If well, I understand your point. There's a grace period. They are. That's grace what a grace period, period is about. It doesn't do you understand what a grace period is? Enforced. The grace period is specifically for the penalty. You don't enforce it. It's uh, when we put this into effect January first and said retailers, you are to stop using and transition over. Even though there's not a penalty, this is what you are required to do. We were very vocal about that. There's a difference between the. 1304.02, which is imposed, and then the penalty that later came six months later to enforce it. It's, we're still, that's the way this legislation is written. If you want to add and amend this and say that we agree with the grocery stores and we do not want people to bring these bags in for the time that this penalty is going on, that would be a clearer message. But the message right well, now. Well, thank you so it. much. I think we're all clear. I think we're all clear. Thank you so much. Thank you, then. Thank you. I have a first, a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Legislation carries. Um, we're going to move this. I guess the motion should have been to move this um, for second reading to the next council meeting, and then we'll have a third reading for clarity. Okay, I'll Madam move Clark, that. Madam Clerk, thank that you. Was the, I, I was, thank you. Thank you. Um, I don't have any um, new business, so we can adjourn. Oh uh, yes, uh, one thing, Madam Chair, I just want the record to reflect that Council Member uh, Stevens is in attendance, and also Council Members Miller, Baker, Shrine, and Tuma. Okay, thanks for that. Okay, well, I'm going to conclude the meeting. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thanks.